Hi everyone, I'm Miranda and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a follow-up from my previous video on cosy reads for Christmas and I'll be sharing my favourite Christmas anthologies and poetry collections. I absolutely adore a good anthology over the Christmas period and as you know I'm a big fan of poetry too so I'm really excited to share some of these books from my festive collection with you all. I was really touched by all of the lovely comments on my last Christmas Reads video. You've really made me excited for not only the festive season and my own reading, but also excited about sharing these books with you. And it's so fun to hear which books you'll be reading over the festive period too. So do keep letting me know that because I love to hear it. As I've said before, books are such an important part of the winter holidays for me, so I hope that whether you celebrate Christmas or not, you'll still enjoy hearing about some of these books that I love to read over the winter and particularly at Christmas time. So let's get started with some of my favourite poetry collections first. I want to highlight this beautiful poetry book called Christmas Please, 100 Poems for the Festive Season. This is such a lovely volume. I mean, all of the poems are somehow related to the Christmas festivities. There are some beautiful illustrations all through it, which I really love. And it's just a really fabulous collection. I've had it for quite a few years now, and it's one I bring out every Christmas time because there's always an old favourite poem that I return to, and I also always seem to discover something new in it too. And like I said, I love all of the illustrations all the way through it. I think that they're really charming. So if you're looking for a nice Christmassy poetry book, then I really recommend this one because there are so many fantastic poems packed into this and it's a real favourite of mine. Next up, I rather like this little collection, particularly the idea behind it. It's called Light Unlocked Christmas Card Poems. And what it is, it's a collection of poetry that a lot of famous poets, but also just writers, sent to friends of theirs as a Christmas card. And there's some favourites of mine in here. There's a wonderful Wendy Cope poem. I think it's called Let the Christmas Spirit In, something like that. And there are some really nice ones in here. But like I said, I also just really love the idea of this. It inspires me to sometimes send a little poem in a Christmas card to my friends and loved ones generally. And I think that's such a thoughtful thing to do for people is to just write out a favourite little poem of yours if you're sending cards over December. Again, there are some beautiful little woodcut illustrations through this too which I think are just gorgeous. I love them. Most of the poems are quite short because they are designed to sort of fit inside a, a Christmas card or like be sent almost instead of a card. So a lot of them are quite short, but it's just a really nice little collection and a favourite of mine too. Then I also like to get some Christmas poems or poetry collections by poets, by sort of a single poet that I really like. So Wendy Cope is one of my favourite poets. So I was really thrilled to get this collection of her Christmas poetry. And this is such a charming book. I mean, I love Wendy Cope. I think that she's just a fantastic poet. And this has, oh, it's called The Christmas Life. I think that was the one I was mentioning before by her. The Christmas Life, and that's in here too. That's one of my favourite poems. It's about the Christmas tree and the sort of joy that it brings. And again, there are some lovely illustrations. I hope you can see that. 
through this collection and just some really charming short little poems. Again, I use this as inspiration when I'm sending Christmas cards if I want to send a little poem in with the card or it's just something I like to have by my bedside at Christmas time so I can dip in and out and read a little poem each evening. So I love this one. And then I'm also a fan of Carol Ann Duffy and she does these fabulous Christmas poetry volumes. I've got quite a few of them now. There's Dorothy Wordsworth's Christmas Birthday, Mrs. Scrooge, Frost Fair and Pablo Picasso's Noel. The Dorothy Wordsworth one is one of my favourites. It's a lovely little poem not only celebrating the Wordsworth and Dorothy in particular, which I think is lovely, but the sort of Christmas season. And again, it's just really sweet. There are some really pretty illustrations all through it, which I really love. So I love reading Dorothy Wordsworth's diaries actually. And it's, I think one of the reasons why I especially love this little poem. I do like all of them, but that one's definitely one of my favourites by her. And then, oh, I've got a couple more actually by her. Bethlehem, you can see that, and The King of Christmas. So I don't know if she's done more actually, I'd have to check. Um, but I've definitely collected quite a few because I just think they're really lovely. They're lovely little stocking fillers as well. And she chooses different, the different artists are chosen for each poem, I think. So they're always, they always have beautiful illustrations, which I love. And then I'm also a huge fan of Maya Angelou. She's one of my favourite poets. And so I was really pleased to get this really pretty edition of her Christmas poem, Amazing Peace. And this is actually one of my very favourite Christmas poems. It's really moving. Maya Angelou first wrote it for the lighting of the tree in the White House, I think in 2005. And it's a wonderful celebration in which she asks everyone of whatever faith to just come together to celebrate peace at Christmas time and it's really moving it's definitely one of my favorite Christmas poems so it's special to have this attractive edition of it okay I think that's all of the poetry so now let me talk you through some of my favorite anthologies first up is round the Christmas fire Stories from Nancy Mitford, P.G. Woodhouse, Stella Gibbons, Charles Dickens and many more. This is one of the vintage Christmas anthologies and I adore the cover by Emily Sutton. I'll put that here so you can see it in the back. I just think that's utterly charming. Oh, let me see if you can see that. Yes. So this is one of my favourite anthologies, I've had it for a long time but it contains many favourites of mine and it's one that I bring out every year. I really like the categories, it's Christmas Chills, Ghost Stories for Christmas Eve, The Yuletide Spirit, Christmas Diaries, Christmas Caroling, Christmas with the Family, Christmas Gifts, Christmas Dinners, Last Christmas. So I really like those categories and there are great choices underneath each category. So I highly recommend this one. It is a big favorite of mine. I've highlighted it quite a bit before on my Instagram and so on, but definitely wanted to mention it on here. And then this Christmas anthology is one of my favorites. It's one of my mum's very favorites, actually. She adores this one. And it's the big book of Christmas mysteries. And it's a really fabulous collection. You can see there's a really extensive list of contributing authors and stories collected in this one. There are some real favorites, like a lot of Agatha Christie and Nio Marsh. And I think there's the Brother Cadfael mystery, some short stories from that. 
and it's really good. The only complaint I have about this one is that it's quite gigantic, so it is a bit heavy. It's a bit tricky to read in bed, this one, but it's actually really worthwhile getting if you like mysteries at Christmas time. And this is a really nice collection of them. It's just, it is quite hefty, <laughs> but it's really fabulous. So we both love this one a lot. And then, of course, I love reading mysteries at Christmas time, but it's also very classic to read some ghost stories at uh, this time of year as well. And this is a great little anthology. It's called Spirits of the Season, Christmas Hauntings. And there are just some really good ghost stories collected within here. Another daunt books bookmark. You can tell that was a bookshop I went to a lot while I was in London. So there's like E. Nesbitt, M.R. James, E.F. Benson, Marjorie Bowen, J.B. Priestley. A really good collection of ghost stories. So if you want something a little bit spooky to read around this period, then I would really recommend this one. Next, I always enjoy the Everyman Pocket Classics and their short story collections. I really like, I think I have their Paris collection and their food collection. And of course I have their Christmas story one too. I love the cover on this because I adore Robins. So I think that that is really sweet. But there are also some really good stories in here. And there's A Christmas Memory, which is one of my favourite ones. Lots of actually really nice little extracts and stories in this as well. And they tend to be a little bit more international in terms of their collection. There are quite a few uh, Russian stories in this as well, which I like a lot. So this is a really nice little collection. And then in my last video, I talked about John Julius Norwich and how much I loved his Christmas crackers that he would do every year. And I was so excited when this anthology edited by him came out. It's called An English Christmas, edited by John Julius Norwich. And it says, vividly evoking all the good things about the festive season, this unexpected anthology is just as entertaining about its darker aspects. Eight-year-old Princess Margaret's surprising thank you list jostles with moving letters home from the trenches. Sherlock Holmes solves his trickiest case. George Orwell writes about indigestion. Jane Austen about reluctant socialising. And Thomas Hardy about the old folk belief that all animals kneel at midnight on 24th December. I remember that little short story from this one actually. I love it. It's a lovely story. But this in general is just a fabulous collection. It's a real favourite of mine and definitely a great gift for Anglophiles, I would say, in your life as well. Really love this one. And then another real beauty is the Faber Book of Christmas. I just love this cover. It's a stunning volume. It's fabric around here. It's actually Liberty fabric. I love Liberty fabric. So this book is just so special, not just for the contents, but for the beautiful cover. I just love this one. It's very special addition to my Christmas pile. <laughs> and there's some really lovely stories in here as well. And there's a collection of poetry as well as sort of extracts and little stories. And I think it's really nicely done. It's a really lovely anthology. I highly recommend this one too. It's a real sort of classic one for Christmas, which I love. And then I also love this little one published by the British Library. And it's a literary Christmas an anthology and this one has a little bit more um, unusual choices in it as well which I really like. Again there are some lovely illustrations all through it. I'll show you. Some lovely colour ones which is really special as well as some nice black and white drawings. Um, there's some George Eliot, Rudyard Kipling, 
John Donne. There's sort of poetry as well as extracts and stories in this one too. And I just think it's really beautiful. I like this one a lot as well. And then this was a favourite from my childhood. It's the Noel Stratfield Christmas Holiday book. I absolutely adored Noel Stratfield's stories when I was little. Ballet Shoes is still one of my all-time favourite books and it's what set me off on my lifelong love for ballet. So she's an author who is really special, really important to me. And this is an anthology that she's edited. I really like the Noel, Chris, uh, the Noel Streckfield Christmas holiday stories, which I'm sure I'll be sharing in my uh, another upcoming video about my Christmas books. But though that's a collection just of stories by her, and this is a collection of lots of other writers. So people like Ruma Godden, for instance, um, Arthur Conan Doyle, but really interesting choices for children. And they're all stories. There are some little illustrations in it, which are quite sweet too. But it's a really interesting one. And there is the odd little poem and thing as well, but it's mainly stories. And I just think it's quite a special collection. I loved this one when I was little and I still return to it now. And then there's the Penguin Book of Christmas Stories, which also has a very striking cover, I think, this one. It says, from Hans, a from Hans Christian Andersen to Angela Carter, edited by Jessica Harrison. And this one is a really good one, too. It's also a little bit different. It's not just all of the standard things that often crop up a lot in anthologies. So there's Shirley Jackson is in here, Chekhov. Saki, um, I love his short stories always, and there are some great Christmas ones by him. But this one is also fairly international in scope as well, which I enjoy. And there are some really interesting ones in here too. There's also a really good Dorothy L. Sayers short story, which I was actually trying to remember where I'd read this. A Dorothy L. Sayers short story before. It's about a pearl necklace that disappears and Lord Peter Whimsey solves the case. And now I've just realized it's in here. So I'm good. I'm glad that I know that now because it's one of my favorites to read at Christmas time. It's quite a clever one. But yes, I love all of the stories in here and this is a great little bit different um, anthology too. So I love this one. And then I also have a few vintage anthologies. So this one is an old favourite, The Christmas Reader, um, compiled and introduced by Godfrey Smith. It's a bit well loved, this one. But I do love this because, again, there are some little bit different choices in here that, uh, that often crop up. There's Lawrence Durrell, who's Gerald Durrell's um, brother, is has something in here. And there's a lovely Thomas Hardy bit from Under the Greenwood Tree. There are just lots of really brilliantly chosen extracts. There's some Willa Cather in here too, who I really like. Some Georges du Maurier. So there's some Shakespeare as well. I mean, it's quite wide ranging and I really do like this collection. So this comes out every Christmas for us. And then this one actually matches this volume that I showed you already. So this was Literary Christmas by the British Library. This is a children's literary Christmas and this is really sweet as well. So there's authors like Mallory Blackman, C.S. Lewis, Matt Haig, Charles Dickens, Laurie Lee, A.A. A. Milne um, and it's really sweet this one. Lots of lovely little illustrations sort of in the corners of the pages which I think is really sweet and then throughout like that 
and I think this is a lovely one, not just for children actually, but for adults as well, because it has quite a few nostalgic entries like from C.S. Lewis, you know, The Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe and Anne of Green Gables, things like that. So a lot of my favourite Christmas passages from my childhood are in here. So I really do enjoy this one. And then this is another vintage anthology that we have. It's called The Fireside Book of Christmas Stories. I think this is actually an American anthology, but I really like it. I mean, it's an old one, but it has um, Merry Christmas by Daphne du Maurier in it. Oh, it's actually called Happy Christmas by Daphne du Maurier in here and lots of quite interesting choices. So I do really like this one as well. And then finally, this big one, which is the Christmas book, The Best of Good Housekeeping at Christmas, 1922 to 1963. And this one is a favourite of mine because it has some contributions from some of my favourite writers like Rebecca West and Beverly Nichols is in here. I think there's also a Dorothy Whipple in here if I'm remembering correctly. But it's also just really charming to sort of see some of the old fashioned um, sort of advertisements alongside the stories and things. I think it's just quite interesting to look through this and it's just yeah quite a lovely collection to browse through and I find it really fascinating that you do see some of the old illustrations, advertisements and all of that from the old Good Housekeeping magazines. So this one is just really interesting for me to look through and there are some nice little extracts from writers in here as well. But anyway, those are all of my recommendations for Christmas poetry collections and anthologies. I hope you enjoyed my suggestions. Do let me know what anthologies you love to read at this time of year or if any of these take your eye. I do hope that you enjoyed this. I'll be back again fairly soon with more Christmas content. I have another sort of part two for my Christmas cozy reads that I'm excited to share with you as well. But thanks so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face that pops up over here. But I'll be back again very soon with another video. Bye!